The buses were clearly forefront of the On The Buses series. One of the things that's quite interesting, although you know most people would assume them to be London buses, they weren't London buses, they're actually supplied by the Eastern National Omnibus Company. And for the films, these buses were painted red uh, to make them look like London buses. I, I think the intention being as well um, that they would look like a generic bus company anywhere in the country. Now, London Transport, whose colour is red, like most of these buses here, um, were very stuffy initially about the idea of on the buses. But gradually, as time wore on, they warmed to the concept of the on the buses series. So by the time we get to the, the films, um, and we have the, the iconic uh, Blakey with the Routemaster bus, uh, what is was at the time London Transport's Chiswick Works, London Transport were kind of warmed to the concept of it. And it was also, the, the programme and the films were very useful for recruitment. Uh, because many people, I suppose, would have looked at it and saw the social element of the working on the bus industry and probably saw that and thought, actually, it's not so bad after all, and I will join the bus industry. So, so it, it did work very well for the bus industry, although you could probably argue that it, it was certainly not on message. I think that the Routemaster bus, the one we're on today, is an iconic symbol of London and it's certainly very popular with film crews who are trying to um, you know, show London in, in its best. Um, you know, it is a good bus. We've moved on from there, obviously, because the open platform doesn't help much with uh, disabled users, people in wheelchairs, which we've had to move on, a bit like the, the TV shows themselves. So, um, yeah, it, the Red London bus is iconic, absolutely. Um, the buses used in the films were supplied by the Eastern National Omnibus Company, who were based out in Essex, who run green buses. Now, that probably wasn't too bad when they were running black and white TV shows because you couldn't tell obviously whether the bus was green or cream or red but obviously once they've moved to colour production uh, I think it became more important so what they did was Eastern National uh, based over in, in Essex supplied them with a number of buses painted them red uh, and they were used for the first film on the buses um, and then those buses returned back to Eastern National, I assume they probably painted them green again. Uh, and then when the, the second film was being made a year or so later, they brought those buses back, repainted them red and used them for, for the show. At the time of the film, um, they used RM200, which is the only route master that actually appears in the On The Buses films. Um, now, all bus drivers in London uh, when they went through the London Transport test actually had to endure the skid pan and the skid pan was at Chiswick Works uh, and what used to happen was they used to turn a, a water uh, cannon thing on uh, make the surface of the road wet and then what would happen is the bus would be launched onto the uh, skid pan and the bus inspector at the back would then ha put his hand through pull the handbrake up and the bus will then slide sideways and the whole idea being is the driver can then control a skid now when you look at it you think there's a good possibility that bus is going to tip over uh, and they don't I mean they're very well balanced the center of gravity is quite low so despite all the spectacular appearance of the shot there is no real chance of the thing coming uh, turning over so so it is quite safe but it is spectacular and if you're on the bus at the time I think it'd, it'd be quite a an event to, to actually be sitting in a bus and, and actually taking part in that.